for me, I can't talk for everybody, but for me, it's always you got to put your craft first and the money will come. I mean, money, I mean, we all need money. Unfortunately, we live on a planet that if we haven't got any money, we're doomed. But um, it's not the key to success. The key to success is to get the craft right first and then the rest will just fall into place. You want to play by the rules and you want to do everything industry standard. Um, and for a long time, for me, it was like, I'm just happy to be here. I'm just happy to be in the room and I'll be happy to talk to people like yourself. And But I don't know, in the last last couple of years, it's, you know, I think my mindset's changed from that to being like, let's try and do things to the best of our ability. Yeah, totally. Um, so, and as, you, as you were saying before about, you know, back in the day, it was an A-side and a B-side and, and it's incredible. Some of my favorite bands, you know, I'm, I'm a huge vinyl collector and, you know, a lot of my favorite bands have got incredible B-sides. Mm that weren't released and you think, wow, like that's such a shame because they were they were great, great tunes. I probably knew six or ten uh, pop songs, you know, Kenny Rogers. Africans love country music, love music, country music. <laughs> mm, we just love it. And so it was like Kenny Rogers, Bob Marley, uh, Don- Donna Summer. My mum loved disco. It was very few people. So I didn't really know much, you know, I didn't know much music until I came to Australia. And it was like somebody opened up this can and just went, look at this world. So the drummer and the piano player in New York, did they do the whole the whole tour with you? Like they go to Canada, mm-hmm. everything, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, great. Yeah. That, that's great. That's great. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> you get, get very tight. Very, yeah. You know, yeah. the band is tight. That's it's good. good. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, crazy players. They, they really play good. Yeah. I could imagine. It's going to cost as much to fly us around Europe for a 12-week tour as it was to get us to Europe because there were so many of us. And mm. Joe said, I'm not putting any money in. You're, you're the record company. Yeah. Well, this is the story I got anyway. Yeah. There was a young – someone young at Sony who said, well, if, if you're not going to put any money in, I'll, I'll pull the pin. And Joe – Played the game and said, go ahead, pull the pin. She did. Yeah. Then I believe she got ousted. But by then, Joe Too didn't late. want to know anything about it. But mm. we, I, I had a farewell party and everything before <laughs> going to Europe because I was going to stay and just yeah, hang right. out and play jazz. You must have cast a spell. 